Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up webhook inside VTiger CRM. So VTiger is an amazing CRM application which provides different kind of tools such as sales tools, marketing tools and for customer support to enhance customer management and relationship for businesses. So here I am going to show you step by step that how we can set up a connection between VTiger CRM and Pabli Connect with the help of webhook to transfer the data from VTiger to any other application automatically. And that we are going to do with the help of webhook. So webhook acts as a bridge for setting up connections between different applications to automatically transfer the data from one application towards another on the happening of a specific event. So here before moving forward on my screen you can see that there are two windows. So these are the most important principles of this entire automation trigger and actions where the trigger says when this happened and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have as many actions as we want. Now, let's suppose here we are going to set up a connection between VTiger and Public Connect as trigger. So, for example, I want that whenever a new contact will be created in my VTiger account, then I want to send a WhatsApp message to that contact. So, here I am going to add WhatsApp in my action. So, clearly in this workflow, we can see that action is following the command of trigger because when the trigger happens, that means when the contact is added in VTiger, then only the WhatsApp message is sent, otherwise not. So, after understanding this concept, let's start setting up the connection between VTiger and Public Connect. For that, we have to move towards our trigger step. Here our trigger application will be VTiger. So let's select that. Now we have to select the trigger event. So this is very important. So trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. You can see that we have multiple options over here. New product, new contact, new deal, new organization and etc. So on the happening of whichever specific event in VTiger you want to receive the response, you have to select that event over here. I want that whenever a new contact will be added in my VTiger account, I want to capture the response. So here new contact will be my trigger trigger event. As we have done that, we have received a webhook URL along with some instructions. Basically, we have to follow these instructions step by step to set up the connection and for which the webhook URL is going to act as a bridge. So it is going to basically transfer the data from VTiger towards Public Connect whenever a new contact will be created and that too instantly. Okay, so let's copy the webhook URL and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. First of all, you need to log into your VTiger account. So I've already done that. This is my VTiger account. Here we have to go towards the profile section. And under profile section, we will see the option of settings. So let's select that. After coming on settings, here are multiple options. Among these options, we will see the option of automation. So as we are creating an automation over here, we have to go towards automation section. Under this, we will find workflows. So basically, we have to set up a workflow to set up the webhook. Okay, now these are all the webhooks which are already created. Now to create a new webhook and add a new workflow, we have to click on this new workflow option. And then we have to go towards standard. First of all, we have to enter the details over here to create the workflow. Let's start with the name. So we have to provide a name to this workflow. So, so for whichever reason you are creating this workflow, you have to provide that name to your workflow over here. Let's suppose I'm going to give the name as new test contacts. This is the name of my workflow. Okay. After giving this, we have to select the target module. We'll go back towards Fabric Connect. It is given that in target module, we have to select contacts. So here, because my trigger event is new contact, so target module will be related to contact. But in your case, whichever event you have selected, you have to select accordingly the target module. Now, when we will select that, here are multiple options. Among these options, I'm going to select contacts over here. Okay. The status will be active and we also have to provide a description. So here, I'm going to give a random description that automation for new contacts. So I have given a random description over here, but you have to give according to your requirement. Now we have to move towards the workflow trigger. As I told you, trigger is the first step and it commands the workflow. So here we have to select the event on the happening of which we want this workflow to trigger. So contact creation will be our trigger event over here. Contact creation. Now we'll move forward towards action as we have selected trigger. Now we also have to select the action step. So let's select our action step by clicking on this add action button. Now, when the contact will be created, what we want? I want that when the contact will be added, I want to receive the response of that contact through webhook. So we have to select webhook over here in our action step. Now we have to provide the details to the webhook. Now, first of all, we have to give a title to the webhook. Here I'm going to give, let's say, PC4, that means Fably Connect 4. Now we have to move forward. If you want, you can also provide a description. Now it is asking us URL to notify. So first of all, here we have to select the method as post. Now we have to enter the URL and the URL is this webhook URL. So we'll simply copy the webhook URL. We'll move back and paste it over here. Now the next is content type. So this will be JSON. Okay. 
Now it is asking us for the authorization type. So here I'm going to select no authentication. Now it is asking us for the body. So here in the body fields, we are going to add the details. That means we are going to add the fields which we want in the response. So I'm going to first of all take you towards the contact form which I have created in VTiger that on the submission of this form, I want to create a contact. Okay. So when the person is going to submit this form, he will be added as a contact. So this form contains the fields such as first name, last name, primary email and mobile phone. So these details I want in my response also. So what I will do, I will move back and here in the fields, I will simply add these first name, last name, email and phone number, these fields. Okay. So first of all, we will go towards the value. Here we have to select the field. Okay. Now we have to select which field we want. So I want first name first of all. So this is the first name. We have selected that and I will copy this name, which is given over here. We will click on save and in the name of the body, we will simply paste this name. In the same manner, whichever fields you want, you can add that by clicking on this add button. Now the next I want is the last name. So I will once again select field over here, last name. I will copy the last name that is header and we will save it. Now in the name, I'm going to paste it. Now, once again, I'm going to add one more name and value field. So the value will be this time email. So we'll go towards field. We will select email over here. That is primary email. And this is the name of this field. So we'll copy that, save it. And now I'm going to paste it over here. At last, I also want to add the phone number. So we'll go back. We will select field. This time I want mobile phone. This is the name of this field. We'll save it and we will paste it over here. Done. So all the fields I have added, which I want in the response. Now the next is the header and it is a mandatory field. So whatever header you want, you can select that over here. I'm just going to enter a random field over here. That will be first name. Okay. So here I'm going to select first name because this field is mandatory. So I've added first name over here. Now after entering all the details, let's click on save. And finally we will save our web book. Okay. And here we can see that our webbook is added new test contacts. This is the name which I provided to my workflow and it is created for contacts creation. Okay. Now we'll move back towards public connect here. It is showing waiting for webbook response. This means that now we have to do a test submission and how we are going to do that by adding a contact in VTiger. So for adding the contacts, I have already created a form. I'm going to enter the details in this form to submit it. And as soon as we will do that, we will receive the response over here in public connect. So let's start with the first name. Let's say the name of the person who is submitting this form is dummy. The last name is, let's say, lead. Let's say the email address is dummy lead45 at the rate publitudes.com. And here I'm going to enter a random phone number. Now I will simply submit this form. And here the form is submitted. So let's go and check whether we have received the response or not. We will wait for a few seconds over here in public connect to receive the response. And here we can see that we have received the response. In the response, we have received all the details. This is the first name, dummy, last name, lead. Here's the mobile number. And, and this is the same email which we have entered while submitting the form. Along with this, we have also received an ID. This means that our connection between VTiger and Public Connect is absolutely successful. So now whenever a new contact will be added in VTiger, we are going to receive the response of that contact automatically in Public Connect. And further, when you will set up this connection successfully, you can also add action steps according to your requirements to send the data from VTiger to any other application automatically. Okay, I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate .com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.